Well, it's time to work on my horse's head. The first one, I'm gonna just start working on one head, then I'll do another head after I get done doing this head. Um, I always hate doing this because it scares the heck out of me doing heads of horses, <laughs> but especially this size. Anyway, I'm gonna get started here in a couple minutes after I get all set up, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Time to play with some play. All right, unlike <coughs> the original horse that I started, I'm going to do the uh, base inquay. The skull is starting to form, and uh, that's a good thing. Taking all kinds of measurements. What I did was I took the head measurement for the horse, the scale of the horse that I'm doing, and that way I can work out uh, all the uh, areas that I need to have on this skull so that when I add muscles, it will work out. One way I keep myself in the studio and I can buy clay to work with and pay for the internet to put the uh, videos that I shoot on to the web is through my sales of my uh, instructional videos. Um, if you're so inclined, uh, check the link below this video uh, where I have a review of all nine of my current instructional videos and uh, see if you possibly find anything interesting there. Um, I pretty much give you my over 50 years of experience in sculpting and uh, I'd really appreciate it if you'd uh, consider purchasing one or two or even all my videos. Um, they're streaming online on Vimo and uh, you need a passcode to see them. But that works forever as long as you have that passcode and the link. So please uh, consider that and let's get busy on sculpting now. End of promotion. All right, I've put the eyeballs in, the ones I made out of that uh, self-hardening clay. And uh, I dropped this one on the floor twice <laughs> before I put it in there, but I found it. It was no big problem. It's just sometimes I get a little, well, uncoordinated. <laughs> anyway, let's see how this works. Ah, my eyes are having a hard time focusing today. It's probably because I just woke up. Um, where is... There we go. The 
the one reason I got the eyeballs that I am using is because working around them, I'm not going to be destroying the eyeball. This is just a slow process of creating a skull and trying to get everything lined up properly because you got to make both sides exactly the same. And the eyeballs have got to line up too, so that's another thing you need to do. What I'm doing is I'm putting in the area for the teeth. Uh, I measured out uh, the distance between the top of the skull, nose, and the uh, top of the teeth. And that's right there. I need to cut off just a little bit more. That's just so I can keep everything the right shape and there's a little build up right there all right i'll be back in a few minutes and uh show you how I far i am then uh, did that make sense i'll be back in just a few minutes uh once i get a little further along much better All this is just to build the structure under the skin of the horse. Since the uh, skull is so close to the uh, surface of the horse's head, you really have to have it right. And balanced. All right, I got this skull pretty much done. And I'm going to start the other one, and I'm going to leave this one on here and put a, another one over here for the armature for the, uh, the other one. And then I can match a little more easily the uh, two heads, uh, which will be about the same size because they wouldn't be that much different. Anyway, just getting my post here. A little more tight all right I'm gonna come back in a few minutes all right I, I got the texture that that I want on the horses back here and I think you can see that a little more clearly there uh, my dilemma is trying to figure out how I'm gonna do the same kind of texture on the horse's head keep that looseness and everything without getting too so technical and tight as I normally do and that's just something I'm going to have to work out. That's as much as I can do today. I got to uh, take off and do some running around. And uh, we'll pick this up tomorrow. Or next time. Depending on when I can get back here in the studio. Alright. Good night everybody. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.